Silverstone is a very high speed track, uh, one of the fastest, and the car setup is biased strongly towards uh, that feature of the track. There isn't very many low speed corners, so there's a high emphasis on aero performance and getting the most out of um, the aero characteristics of your car. We would typically start the Silverstone weekend with some aero testing, new components hopefully in P1 practice session. Uh, and then the, the P2 session on Friday would then move towards qualifying preparation on low fuel at the beginning of, of the session and then high fuel running at the end of the session, which is race preparation. The P3 session on Saturday morning is normally set aside entirely for qualifying preparation. It's, a, it's an important part of the weekend, although sometimes the weather at Silverstone can play its part. If it's been wet all day Friday, for example, you would have to try and do something on Saturday morning for race preparation as well as your normal qualifying work. Setting the car up for Silverstone or most other circuits as well is a, is a bit of a compromise. You're always trying to find something that's suitable on both low fuel and high fuel on a single lap for qualifying but over a whole race stint uh, in the race and on two or three different tyre compounds. All of those things require slightly different versions of setup for it to be perfect. Uh, the tyre behaviour changes a lot uh, over the length of a race stint from the beginning through the middle to the end. Even the behaviour of the tyres over a single lap in qualifying will change from the beginning of the lap to the end. So there isn't a perfect setup. All you can hope to achieve is the perfect compromise.